now let's start looking at uh, some of the changes that came in the basel post the two point post the basel 2 version typically uh, by the time the basel 2 got completely implemented almost the 2007 9 financial crisis has started right completely by the time it got completely implemented we see that the financial crisis has come up and uh, that is where there are lots and lots of critics who started who started criticizing basel 2 purely because it has offered the banks a flexibility in terms of using internal rating based approach IRB to calculate the credit risk right that flexibility to calculate the credit risk the banks were relying more on their own estimates of computing the probability of default the loss given default or even computing the exposure at default and it looked more and more that this is a mechanism that is acting more like a self-regulation for the bank and these self-regulations were perceived that the banks were underestimating the risk because of this particular reason. Banks ended up in underestimating the risk because they had the flexibility and they have literally got into over lending kind of a process. Now this has been the major criticism regarding the Basel 2 because it was linked more or less closer closely with the financial crisis. And this is where Basel committee really thought that there need to be a change in the way at least initially started off with the market risk based capital the way the market risk based capital is computed they wanted to bring about a change in it and this specifically with only the changes relating to the market risk based capital they have incorporated as a part of basel 2.5 and they have released it if you remember as a part of uh, the typical basel 2 if i have to recollect what is the capital that the banks have to set aside towards the market risk it was talking about a maximum of either the previous day's war or some multiplication factor times the average value at risk over the last 60 days. Now both these wars whether it is this or this it is computed on a 10 day time horizon basis right it is computed based on a 10 day time horizon basis with 99 percent confidence level so either it is the previous day's value at risk or the historical last 60 days average value at risk multiplied by a multiplication coefficient whose values could be anywhere between three to four three were very close to three when the typical back testing of the same has resulted in very minimal exceptions less than five kind of exceptions when it was being back tested over the last 250 days then they can use a multiplication factor of four but if the number of uh, exceptions are increasing then the multiplication factor should go up to 4. That used to be the earlier mechanism for computing the market charge, market risk capital charge for the Basel 2.5. Now here 
to address this concept of market risk capital as a part of Basel 2.5, the Basel committee has actually come out with three major recommendations. One, every bank, apart from computing the regular value at risk using the earlier mechanism, it is also talking about the computation of stressed value at risk. Right? We will talk about it. There is a computation regarding the stressed value at risk and there is a new IRC that has been come up which is nothing but incremental risk charge. So which is an additional charge that has been brought about. And the third thing which has been focused upon is a comprehensive risk measure CRM which is majorly applicable to those instruments which are very much sensitive to the correlation between the default risks which are primarily based on correlations of default risks of the various instruments. So this is where a comprehensive risk measure has been brought about. So if we get started with uh, the stressed value at risk, recollect the Basel 2. What is the way it was computing? What is the way it was computing the value at risk? It was using a historical simulation kind of a procedure. Fair enough. Right? It was using a historical simulation mechanism. And the VAR that is computed through this uh, historical simulation was traditionally used for the computation of the market risk capital charge. And in a historical simulation, the way it was executing is the percentage change for that particular variable, let's say uh, for tomorrow, the way it is estimated is based on the last four years, right? One to, uh, uh, one to four years data based on the changes in the last based on the changes in the last one to four years, I was taking some 250 day period, one year to four years, some kind of a data during that particular period has been taken and the computation for the value at risk has been done. Now here, probably if they had used the last one year or last four years, it's just the percentage changes that have come and, I, and on that probably a random sample of 250 days. Let's say the last four years data has been taken. So probably around 1000 points would have been there or assuming 250 trading days. Out of them, 250 on a random basis have been taken out. And out of that uh, 250, probably the one percentage war has been computed which is what is the resulting scenario. But now what it is simply uh, saying is this mechanism probably before the crisis, before the crisis, the volatilities were much, much lesser, which means the price fluctuations were much, much lesser. So because of that, the value at risk, if I'm computing based on the pre-crisis data, even of the four years data pre-crisis, the value at risk was much, much lesser. So if I assume like 2003 to 2006, when the volatilities were lesser, even in 2007 when I am computing, it's a random sample from 2003 to 2006. Even if I am looking at 2008, it could be a random sample between 2004 to 2007. So there are two, three years where it was not volatile. It was uh, very much stable, only one year where there was a fall. So what has happened is even the estimates of 2008 and 2009, the VAR was representing a smaller number itself because of the historical simulation method that has been used 
wherein it was a mere random sample of 250 days over the last four years kind of a period right so at least after some time after the financial crisis started also the war was giving much lesser kind of an estimate that is where the basel 2.5 thought probably something has to be changed as a part of the calculation and that is where they said apart from the regular war that is getting computed the banks are also necessary to compute the stressed war so in the stressed war they take the 250 days they take the 250 days period where the market is very much stressed. A 250 day period where their portfolio has really performed the worst. So they take that 250 day period where the portfolio has performed the worst and within that period they are computing the VAR and they are using it as a stressed VAR. Now, because of this reason, we could see that different banks will have a different formula for stressed war because the time periods are different for different banks. They had to really identify which one year period has really resulted in a drastic loss for them and they have to include that specific time period for the computation. Now, once they have computed the stressed war, Again, the computation is on the same lines as the VAR itself. So they are still going with a maximum of S VAR T minus 1 plus some multiplication factor times S VAR average. So again, the same mechanism. But this is traditionally added to the regular VAR that they have computed a maximum of VAR T minus 1 plus MC times VAR average. Now the only difference being these weightages. Again, these weightages are very much linked to their historical experience, which are determined by the supervisors. And they are purely based on the backtesting of the model. The more are the exceptions, the higher is the weightage, the lesser the exceptions, lower is the multiplication factor but traditionally this factor is anywhere between 3 to 4 and uh, this summation was what is coming out for the total capital charge corresponding to the market risk the banks are supposed to compute that on a regular basis and now if we clearly see First of all, this stressed VAR definitely will have a value greater than that of the regular VAR. Because here this is a random 250, whereas this is a specific 250. So this value will always be greater than this value, which means if I have to look at the capital requirement under the Basel 2.5, definitely the capital requirement is more than double compared to what the traditional uh, Basel 2 has suggested for towards the market risk capital charge. So the it is expected that the Basel 2.5 which has focused on the stressed war and alterations to the market risk capital charge could really uh, bring down the risks that are inherent with respect to uh, uh, with respect to the market risk. Right?